guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So this celebration, this Dokkan Fest Android 17 and 18 celebration, uh, it did an interesting thing in that we're going to get Dokkan Awakenings for five previous free-to-play characters that have just been sitting here at SSRs. Uh, the tech, Goku, he is eventually going to Dokkan Awaken into an LR. We have the AGL Android 18, we have the in Android 17, we have the AGL Hellfighter 17, and then we have the STR GT Android 18. Those five characters are going to be getting new Dokkan Awakenings, even though, again, these are characters... I mean, all, the four Androids, they all came out in 2018, right? Um, I believe 18 and 17 came out along with Jiren and Evolution Blue Vegeta, um, and then Hellfighter 17 and GT 18, they came out with Ultra Full Power... Super Saiyan 4 Goku um, in July of that year. Goku, This Goku, of course, came out a couple months ago in May for the Golden Week celebration. And then the last free-to-play character is this Krillin, right? Uh, Kid Krillin. This is the first TUR Kid Krillin that we are actually uh, going to get in the game here. So what I want to do with this video is I just want to quickly go over... Like, we're, we're just going to get all of the characters, um, you know just go over like how to awaken them where to get the medals and stuff like that and then actually awaken them and then i'll prepare to link level them right um now two of them do actually easy so this one this is pretty easy right just we go to the dragon ball um story this is where we can grind um the kid krillin right in here uh so we can go ahead and grind the kid Krillin right there we can get his medals and then these are the medals to get the tur um of the goku remember we do actually grind goku is like that ssr right here it's kind of like right here, just right there, the first stage of this one. So that's pretty good. Eventually, that Goku is going to become a LR. Um, he's not an LR yet, but eventually he is going to be. All right, so next, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the androids, right? I think the androids is actually going to be um, a very interesting one. So we had stuff, uh, the Tournament of Power story event and then the Super 17 arc story event both have slight changes. So this is the finale of the Tournament of Power. This is where um, there's sort of going to be, I guess, minute changes here. So let's go and flip over. So again, he here's the 21st World Tournament, right, where we can go ahead and get the, you know, Krillin and uh, Goku awakened right there. Uh, so here is the Tournament of Power one. So this is actually interesting. We previously had... Um, the Android 18 and the Android 17 medals already in here. And now you're actually able to Dokkan Awaken them just with both medals. So 17 takes the 17 and the Android 18 medals. Um, and then 18, she takes the Android 18 and the 17 medals as well. Now, I believe I have a good, I don't know, 300 copies a piece of these. Because these used to be available in the Baba shop, right? Um, they revamped the Baba point section. Um, and they kind of took out all of the medals and then just replaced them with story event keys. Um, but these really wouldn't take very long to go ahead and grind up, right? And then, of course, there's other previous characters. Yeah, they awakened a lot of characters and medals from this uh, story event right here. Uh, this story event does not have a uh, support memory yet as of right now. Okay, okay. So that's that. So we don't actually have to do any grinding here. Again, I've already got, I think, like 300 plus of pretty much all these medals. So then the last thing we have to do here is we get down to the Super 17 uh, story event. Uh, now here, I think that there actually is a little bit of differences here. These are new medals that were added. Looks like they were just added to the same stage, right? Stage 3 and Stage 4 now just have these new medals added to it. These medals did not used to be here for those. And by the way, keep in mind that the GT Cell and Frieza, these guys still have to Dokkan Awaken at some point. Um, so it, it's like there's there have been a lot of these kind of just like SSRs floating around that have not awakened. And eventually, I think Dokkan could probably push content towards awakening a lot of the summonable SRs and summonable rares and stuff like that in, in banners. I think that could be a really nice thing that they could do, right? Just like all those kind of like, think of all the Earthling like SR cards and stuff like that. Awakening them could be a good idea. So, all right, let's just quickly go ahead and run these stages, um, you know, see what they look like and go ahead and get um, the actual medals from them. All right, so it's stage three and four. 
is what we're going to want to go ahead and run. So let's go ahead and knock that out. Uh, oh, what is the... Yeah, I, I think they added um, a, like a, a drop rate boost to this. Uh, when did they do this? They, they must have added this when they added the support memory. The Piccolo and Dende support memory. Um, I believe it's Sibling Bond. Yeah, Sibling Bond. Let me actually... I'm, I'm just curious. What stage is the support memory? Stage 6? Let's double check. Is is that actually when? Because uh, we'll be able to see if I used a sibling bond team when I was grinding up the support memory. Yeah, yep, okay. So that's when they added the actual support memory boost. I got it, I got it. Or um, like the, the drop rate uh, boost. All right, so let's hop into stage three. Let me just quickly build a sibling bond team and we'll jump in. Alrighty, so let's just go ahead and jump in here like this. Um, and we should be able to get the medals that we need pretty easily. By the way, I do think... So, these two characters, right? These two free-to-play characters. This stage, of course, is the GT Android 18 stage. And then the next stage is going to be the Hellfighter 17 stage. I think both of these could get better, like, summonable characters. Now, Android, GT Android 18, I imagine at some point... Like, Goku using the Dragon Fist to finish Super 17 with 18, I bet you we'll get, like, a really good-looking summonable, like, kind of character for that. Now, Kid Goku doing the Dragon Fist, they implement it into the 8th Anniversary LR character, which is probably a good idea, but they, they could still do a version of that Goku along with the Android 18, right? Maybe it's, like, an Android 18 and GT Goku or something like that. Who knows? Um, now, we already did previously have the Banner Unit Goku, um, who awakens with some medals from this that does do that Dragon Fest, and, you know, GT18 is in his actual animations, um, but I don't think that we, like, that's not enough, right? Remember that any character kind of, like, that has, like, really crappy animations can just be redone, although, to be fair, after they really started pushing Dokkan original animations... Um, I think that there's just a lot more in general that we can sort of uh, expect, right? They could just redo tons of different types of characters for sure, right? All right, so this is the Android 18 stage. Now, I noticed that we got quite a bit of medals, by the way. I think we only need 10 medals to awaken GT 18, and then we need 10 medals um, to awaken Hellfighter 17. Yeah, it, 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 it's just 10 medals for each. We do not have to... Uh, grind very much for either of these characters, right? Um, sorry, so we did this stage. Let's just go ahead and knock out uh, this stage right here, stage four. Um, you know, and then I think after this, we'll we'll go over, we'll rainbow the kid Krillin, and then we could just Dokkan Awaken all of the characters, right? Because uh, all, I mean, we have six Dokkan Awakenings. I'll take the six Dokkan Awakenings we're about to get, right? Because six Dokkan Awakenings, don't forget. That does indeed add points to your boy's power level. I love power level. Um, okay, well, actually, no, don't, don't fight the Cybermen. No! <laughs> no, I had it on auto. Now we're, fi we're fighting just Cybermen in here. Oh, my God. Look, guys. We found a new great leak level stage here. <laughs> stage four. Oh, damn. This is kind of brutal, though. I mean, I, the... Auto is not going to force us into these fights against these little, like, jobber enemies. But, like, looks like if we get unlucky, we could land on these fights, right? Um, which, which is all that happened right here. But this makes it a little bit more annoying to actually grind up this metal. The fact that we actually could encounter this, right? Oh, my days of Cybermen killing. All the link leveling. What, what was the stage we all used to run? It was... 23.8 or something? Damn, I can't even really remember. What was the link level stage? I think it was... I want to say 23. Dude, that, that stage ending in Turles. Bruh, the amount of times I fought that stage is crazy. By the way, GT Nappa. This is another character we need. GT Nappa. What do you guys think about a GT Nappa? To be fair, like what he does is in the Dr. Zhou and Dr. Mew card, right? A lot of the, the, this 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 portion of this arc is. I wonder if we'll ever get a Super 17 arc, like a Super 17 saga like category. I think that would be a cool one. I I personally would like it if we would get a, a Super 17 saga category. Uh, it's something that could easily be done. Hey, look, Doctor Joe and Doctor Mew, there they are, right there. Yeah, eventually they would get a very shitty banny unit way down the line. Who knew, right? Yeah, what a, what a combo of a character. I'm still so butthurt 
that that character is not good, by the way. I think that really sucks. Because, like, imagine if that character was just, like, super good. I don't know. They easily, like, Super 17 easily could have added in, like, the GT villains category. Right? So, like, GT boss could just be a separate entity. Right? And then imagine if, imagine if they introduced GT villains into the game. And then Dr. Show and Dr. Mew were, like, a sick ass. Like, they were STR Krillin, but for GT villains. And then imagine Carnival Omega comes out, and he's, you know, a GT villain character specifically that he needs rather than GT bosses, right? What a better timeline we would have been living in if it was like that, huh? Sheesh. All right, so there we go. So there's that. Um, I guess let me just cut real quick, um, and I do want to go ahead and grind up the necessary metals um, for us to be able to Dokkan Awaken, Hellfighter 17, and Android 18. Um, and then we can come back and we will do just that, right? We'll go ahead um, and awaken uh, all of the characters there. Yeah, okay, so there's Hellfighter 17 and his medals. We get both from the stage. Yeah, so let me just cut. We'll come right back and we'll awaken all six. All right, so we finished the hunting and questing. Uh, let's go ahead and do a couple of things now. So we have our boy Kid Krillin. Um, I think Kid Krillin will probably be most effective with a full dodge build. I mean, I don't really see much people pushing back on, like, free-to-play characters and stuff like that. Um, so we'll go ahead and give him the rainbow, and then let's also go ahead and Dokkan Awaken Kid Krillin. Um, definitely cool that they give us this Kid Krillin card who gets his, you know, kind of like his first TUR. But it's also nice that this bastard does not easy a right away, right? Like, that's... I, I always mention this, but, like... It was such an exciting thing when AGL Broly got his EZ8 on release back then. But nowadays, obviously, it's not really so much of, like, a thing that's good, right? Because it just means the character's going to be bad faster. Um, all right, so then this Goku right here, this is a previous one we got from the first stage of that event. Now we can actually go ahead and give him his Dokkan Awakening with the medals we got from that stage as well. Perfect. Now, remember, this character still is going to have another Dokkan Awakening, um, before this character is done, um, we'll see what it's going to look like. I mean, we know, because, I mean, take a so, so that Goku, I mean, he literally has, like, his own unique super attack animation, right? I wonder if, like, really this Goku's the only one that's going to have it, but he's not even on, like, World Tournament or anything like that, right? Despite the fact that he clearly is from World Tournament. So we know, because that's what he's going to do, kind of waken into. All right, so now we have the Android 18. Again, I have a lot of these medals, as you guys can see. Um, I grinded these. I, well, I didn't grind these medals up, but I bought these from the Baba Shop. A lot of those older story events, they used to have their medals in the Baba Shop all the time. So I was able to get, like, a huge amount of those. Um, all right, and then, of course, Android 17, same thing, right? We just have hundreds of those medals. Um, so that's definitely a good thing. I'm glad that I spent you know, the years just buying these random medals from the Baba Shop anyway, because it certainly does cut down on some grinding I might have to do uh, here and there. All right, so now then Hellfighter 17 and GT Android 18. Now, again, the other thing, Hellfighter 17 and GT Android 18, um, they also do Easy 8. So we'll probably do um, a, a separate video for actually going through uh, that GT Easy 8 area with uh, these two characters down here. So, there we go. Um, we have all six of the free-to-play units um, Dokkan Awakened. Now, I'll just go ahead and get to grinding their links. Uh, we'll see how things are going to go, right, once we have their um, links leveled. Um, of course, uh, all of the, I mean, Kid Krillin, we got to completely grind him up. But a lot of these other characters, right, we're just going to be one link away. Oh, actually, well, two for her. Okay. And what about 17? Do you also have two? He does. Okay. All right. Well, there we go. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the batch of free-to-play characters. Crazy that the Worldwide Download Celebration had, what, two free-to-play characters? And then this filler October celebration, where Dokkan is typically pretty quiet, has six. Uh, very funny, Dokkan. 